hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 7 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications so i hope almost all solutions are 100 percent correct so if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section so we will try to sort it out and if there are any updates then i will update in the comment section so once again visit the comment section before the final submission so let's see the first one so watch the video till the end so that don't make any mistakes in marking the solutions so first one which statement or which statements are true about byzantine dissemination quorum so for first question there are two probable solutions the first one is option a any two quorums have at least one correct replica in common and the second one is option b there is always a quorum available with no faulty replicas so mark option a and b now moving on to the second question so second one if you have f number of faulty nodes then you need at least how many replicas to reach consensus irrespective of crash fault or byzantine fault so for second question the probable answer is option b 3f plus 1 so option b is the probable solution for second question now let's see the third one third question what is the correct sequence of operations in pbft algorithm so pre prepare is the first one prepare is the second one commit is the third one and finally replica reply is the fourth one so option b is the probable solution for third question so guys if you feel there should be any changes in the solutions please give your answer in the comment section so that we can correct it so i'll update the correct answer in the comment section so third one for third question option b is the probable solution guys now let's see the fourth question solution fourth one pbft is safe under what type of quorum over an asynchronous environment so for fourth question the answer is option a 2f plus 1 2f plus 1 now let's see the fifth question So before getting into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement. So for the course blockchain and its applications, so we have prepared a huge number of 300 MCQs through a Google Drive PDF uh, link. So for this MCQs, these are uh, helpful for the exam preparation. So for, for the final exam, so with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared these MCQs. So it's a mixture of previous year MCQs as well as handmade MCQs so for one person it is 300 and for two to five persons combined it is 500 so if you are joining with this course along with your classmates so you can form a group and you can take this two to five persons back so combined you will get it for 500 rupees so if you are only one person you no need to worry you can get it for 300 itself so we have covered almost all part of the syllabus in these mcqs completely exam oriented so you can take this so this is the email id you have to mail me for in order to get this pdf mcqs so i will tell the payment procedure after you mail to this email id i will give the same in the email id uh, in the description box as well as in the comment section so and and the, there is second pack so it is youtube membership there you can get 100 plus mcqs in order to get this youtube membership you can go to our channel but it is only available in video format for one month and for one person it is just 18 rupees only 
so if you want this 100 plus mcq pack actually this is a sample pack so just a trial version so for 89 pack just go to our channel page so like this so before be, uh, beside the subscribe button there is join button so click on that so select the second one 89 per month pack and again click on join and make payment that's it you'll become member of our channel and you can get access to all our members only videos so here you can see blockchain part 2 and part 1 is also prepared so you can get all these videos for the same 89 rupees no extra charge needed but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs back because we're getting a pdf and covering a huge number of 300 mcqs and which help you for the final exam preparation and this youtube membership is a sample pack so my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcq spec so for this 300 mcq spec you have to mail me to this email id so for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combined it is 500 guys so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section only if you want to buy this 300 mcq spec then only message me to this email id if you want to join our youtube channel for those two videos no need to ask me you can directly go to our channel page and join the membership pack now let's see the solutions so fifth one what are hyperledger frameworks used for so for fifth question the probable answer is option a hyperledger frameworks are primarily used for building permissioned blockchains for organizations so mark option a And moving on to the sixth one. So sixth question, which of the following is or are benefits of blockchain for business? So for sixth question, the answer is option D, all of the above. That means reduce transaction time from days to near instantaneous. Option B, removes intermediaries overheads and costs and option c enables new business models such as iot integration into supply chain so option d all of the above is the correct answer next moving on to the seventh question which of the following is an open source enterprise grade permissioned dlt platform so for seventh question the answer is option A, Hyperledger Fabric. So mark option A as correct answer for seventh question. Next, moving on to the eighth one. Which of the following abstractions in Hyperledger Fabric provides confidentiality to individual ledgers? So for eighth question, the answer is option c channels so mark option c as correct answer for eighth question now let's see ninth one suppose there are five channels present in hyperledger fabric network each of them has access to three chain ports a b and c how many containers will run in each pair for running this system so for ninth question the answer is option c three so mark option c as correct answer for ninth question and moving on to the last question that is tenth one hyperledger fabric only allows Proof of work consensus to be plugged in to ensure a high degree of trustworthiness. Is it true or false? So before getting into this solution, I want to once again make you remember that we have prepared a huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF. So for one person, it will be 300 and for two to five persons, it will be just 500 rupees combinedly. So you can mail me to this email ID. So I will give the same email ID in the description box as well as in the comment section. So now let's see the last question, solution. So for this 10th question, the given statement is option 
ये false. So guys, if there are any changes, I will update it in the comment section so you can once again visit our channel, the comments section to know if any changes available or not. So that's the case for this video. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video, and definitely share that with your friends so that they will also be able to watch our videos. So so keep supporting us like this and don't forget to take our pack so 300 mcqs pack it will be very helpful for you in the preparation for final exam already many students have taken our pack so take it now itself so that you can get more time at the end of the course so that you can prepare well and you can prepare for other subjects also within this time so that's the case for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you